Hey there Libra, this is Shah and welcome back to the channel and this is your reading for the 20th to the 26th of July 2020 and I'm pre-recording this as you know I am off so I don't know whether I'll be back in time uh, to um, get them all finished this week so that's why I'm pre-recording and I do go out live on Monday Wednesday and Friday so if you are new please join us and please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live and I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported with a donation that's a super chat or a super sticker and we are in Leo we are in the sign of Leo so this face will be active inspirational and also very very busy but also creative and we need to be more logical and strategic so open up and could also be very passionate time because it's also holiday and we love to go on holiday and we feel more relaxed so we're more passionate with things that we do like hobbies going swimming going to play tennis or sit on the beach yes and the lockdown has eased up in most countries and if you can't go to the beach then you most probably will find a spot in the park or in your garden if you have a garden I'm already seeing a lot of people out there and enjoying the summer holidays okay I'm doing the four cards this week and I'm also uh, I'm using the enchanted dream tarot and I'm using the mystical shaman oracle deck and the answers of the angels I will go deeper into the mystical shaman oracle card and if you are new welcome and if you would like to become a cyber angel then join us in the live in the tea room okay and thank you very much my beautiful cyber angels for being so loyal uh, in following me and giving all those likes and sharing with family and friends so here we go let's see what the cards have to offer this week first of all we start off with the ace of cups so that like I said there could be a new passion but this could also turn into love because the cups are also for long term the cups people stand for love passion nurturing caring sensuality and sexuality Ooh, they're just as passive um, as um, the fire signs this could be a, a, a cancer this could be a Scorpio or a Pisces and the water people are also more emotional and perhaps their emotions might be heightened around the cusp um, so if you are meeting a water sign or if you have water in your sign you might be more sensitive around the full moon or the new moon and of course um, you might also be more highly sensitive in with your psyche or your intuition or uh, um, in your dreams you might even experience deja vus okay so there could be a new love or a new hobby a new job something that you love to do or perhaps your hobby might become a job also now you definitely on Wednesday have recognition because you have the three of Pentacles your hard work has been recognized you are no longer the apprentice you are fully qualified now and you've got the recognition so that is lying next to the ace of cups so that is your job you might find a new job or you might have just passed your exams and you've got recognition and you're ready for the new start boom 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 love it and love it um, yes you might have had a hard time studying and you might have found it difficult and a long drastic slog but you're in a, a transformational period you're taking a rest and look at the butterfly representing the transformation you're no longer the caterpillar like I said you're no longer the apprentice you're fully fledged and qualified and recognized 
the nine of wands is an ending the nine is an ending where there is an ending there is a new beginning she's just taking a rest and thinking about what is the next step well the next step is to find out what you like and um, what you like to do what you're passionate about and follow up and that is your new beginning because it's going to give you the ultimate happiness okay you've got the ten of cups again an ending a new beginning there might be an extension in the family if you are married or coupled up there might be an extension you could be finding out you're pregnant the family reunions uh, gatherings expansion expansion in a new home you might be moving from an apartment to a house and look is that it could be your castle your home is your castle you might find out you're pregnant but this could also be a pet a cat or a dog that is extending the family you and your partner if you haven't got any children now this is a beautiful card because that means that your wish is already been fulfilled because you've gone you've passed the nine the nine isn't here you've gone straight on to ten you have got the recognition and you've got the qualifications you've come full circle rainbows and rainbows to me means that heaven and earth are um, bonded together so there might be somebody on the other side sending you a message and cheering you on they are ecstatic that you've reached this stage this beautiful stage of recognition and come round full circle wow ten is an end and a new beginning so you've got three new beginnings and most probably a new love or a new job at the same time or you might get an you've been going out with somebody that you love passionate and you're taking you're daring to take the next step you like from the apprentice to the fully fledged qualified you're going up a next step so yeah and we've got smoky mirrors and for some reason or rather you don't have smoky mirrors anymore because the fog has lifted you've come full circle now 47 that's number 47 and 47 is becomes an 11 so the angels are here they are showing you they are also from the other side from the other realm with our ancestors they're from heaven some people call it heaven but I call it the other realm as well Wow so let's have a look what has been lifted and what does the smoky mirrors mean you know what you want I feel that the smoke has been lifted and you can look at yourself in the mirror and feel totally ecstatically happy boom celebrations reunion with family and friends great stuff the smoky mirrors represents the aspects of what is implied yet cannot be immediately known in the world the mystery of how things come together and how they fall apart without obviously obviously casualty this symbol also represents the shadow of the human psyche the parts of the self and the one disowns smoky mirrors can also represent a state of denial or in inability or refusal to see the truth there you are that's your dark side so let's have a look perhaps that you have been refusing in the past or in the last couple of nine days nine weeks or nine months that you have been stuck in this 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 traumatic uh, time because the nine of wands means that you've been through rough times this could have been right uh, since last year December right up to now and we're going into the eighth month so yes um, the time has come for the ending and you have just passed um, a face from apprenticeship or caterpillar into a butterfly because you've got recognition so perhaps you have 
been working on yourself and your environment and you are leaving an old face behind and you're much stronger you're stronger than you realize or that you had known you've come through the wars and you're taking a break you're thinking here and you're ready for this new beginning you can accept who you are I think and you have faced your fears and you know what you do want and what you don't want that's a qualification in itself in your own life experience and life knowledge you've gained the knowledge through your experience now the invitation for the card uh, the smoky mirrors is when the symbol of the smoky mirror appears you are invited to see beyond your own self acknowledge that past the limits of your current ability to perceive there are or there is a fast interconnected world and you're part of it remember that where events are orchestrated in divine order but challenging to fully grasp now is the time to trust that no matter what the current conditions of your world uh, re reflect in the hidden realms all aspects of the human journey are celebrated yes every phase of our life um, we do celebrate when we come to an end of a phase and this is celebrations because you have gained knowledge and life experience again and so you grow within yourself and you do this through meditation or contemplation and evaluating the situation or that moment at hand now is the time to trust that no matter what the current conditions of your world reflect in the hidden realms all aspects of the human journey are celebrated the beauty and the darkness the misery and the courage no matter where you are on your journey know that some things are meant to be a mystery which you are meant to understand only through experience well there you are I don't know this card and I don't know that all the cards and the answers by themselves but yes I am 62 and I've experienced a lot so I do and I do meditate so that is why I most probably understand intuitively what this card means take heart from the smoky mirror will ultimately show you the beauty and wonder once the fog lifts the distortion you see now so in other words don't despair if you are in a difficult time at the at the moment Libra because the end of the phase will be here just take time out and have a look what you've learned what you've gained where are you now do you feel more peaceful then it is ready to move on to the next level of your life's journey pass the knowledge on to others and you will re return uh, there will be a return as well if you do pass your knowledge your uh, life experience and your life knowledge your wisdom that you've ga gathered along the way on to the next person this could be like a mother teaching the child how to grow up how to cook how to nurture how to love themselves how to dress themselves that is also all the parts of our journey to learn how to be independent and think for ourselves and that is always a celebration once you successfully pass a stage or a phase in your life you are no longer the apprentice like I said you might be grown up now and feel strong independent and you know what you want you know you might want to expand your life uh, get a, a, a love for long term to get married have children have that house have that job and um, that's why 
gently, bit by bit, the smoky, uh, murky, foggy thing from the mirror will be lifted bit by bit. And the angels are with you, so they will help you. And they just tell you, be assertive. Always be assertive. Take time out and look back and see what you have learned from each step. This is a very spiritual reading above anything else. I hope it gives you enlightenment, um, enlightenment, food for thought, and know that you're on the right path and that you never stop le uh, learning until the right to the end. Life is like a diamond, a rough diamond, and you cut facets in the diamond. You are designing the diamond. And you stop polishing and cutting the diamond when it's ready to be set in a setting. And that is the end of how I look at it, of life. And then you are put into the setting that is the end of life. And then your journey starts all over again in the next realm. So enjoy each facet and you come back to one facet that is like love, uh, work, hobby, traveling. These are all facets of our life that we go back and polish until they are polished to the, to the ultimate point of shining and celebration. And that is a beautiful way of looking at life. So take heed and I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you and take care and be blessed. Please like and share. Stay safe and stay well and enjoy the week. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.